Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month. What an amazing month it is. And a part of the big reason for that has to do with an extended eclipse season. On June 1st, we will have a lunar eclipse, but that's only the beginning. We'll have another eclipse two weeks later. And rather than that be the end of your normal two week eclipse season, we're going to have a third eclipse as we move into July, which means that throughout most of this month and throughout eclipse season, the veil between the worlds is especially thin, making it that much easier to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out for you. And it is eclipse season that can make this time feel especially karmic and especially meaningful. You add some of the really big transits that are happening now, well, it does tell me how important a time this may be for you. So let's start with that lunar eclipse happening right around the 5th of June, taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. It is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth. Lunar eclipses bring a fresh perspective, a more emotional perspective, but also carry with them closure and karmic endings. Where it is that perhaps you followed a particular path that hasn't been rewarding or felt especially aligned with a more enthusiastic future, well, it is gonna be now that that starts to be that much more apparent and your conviction to make change will be apparent as well. It can also be at this time that the universe starts making it abundantly clear what pathways have served their purpose in your life, especially in alignment with moving towards a greater sense of healthy self-love and healthy self-esteem. And so this eclipse is gonna happen across the sky from a retrograde Venus. And both of these planets will reach out to Mars as part of a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. It brings that much more energy and urgency to this time. Things are changing. And ultimately, it is gonna be this time that ushers you into greater prosperity in the coming year and a half. This is the first of a series of eclipses that are gonna be taking place in this financial part of the sky for you. However, for now, this does suggest needing to think quickly, thinking on your feet, and figuring out the best way forward for you. What I do love about this energy though, is that when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. Sometimes you may have to feel like you are giving more of yourself or looking at yourself more deeply, learning and integrating your lessons so that you can move toward the prosperity that you desire, but the prosperity certainly is there. So hold that faith, do what's in front of you to do, and you will find yourself empowered at this time. Now, as we navigate later in the month, right around the summer solstice, the 21st of June, is when we will have a solar eclipse in fellow water sign Cancer. Now, this is the last of a series of eclipses that has been taking place in this part of the sky for the better part of the last two years. And so, with this eclipse being the last of a series and yet at the very beginning of its respective sign, well, it does suggest that while a larger cycle is ending, you feel ready for a brand new start. This is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters are covered here. And you may very well be embracing new opportunities at this time to branch out in some way. For some, it may be whether it's the chance to travel or the realization that you want to be somewhere else. It may be a desire to engage an institute of higher learning, but it may also be a desire to expand your understanding philosophically or politically. Regardless, this is a sense of illumination now that allows you to feel like you can begin again in powerful and blessed ways. Just days before this solar eclipse, Mercury is going to go retrograde in the same part of the sky. And that does suggest that it may very well be what is new now 
is actually the result of an opportunity coming back around. It may have been that this idea or possibility was in the ether. Just now, it's able to become more embodied than it was before. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I am going back to that Mars. Mars moving through a very flirtatious part of the sky for you for most of this month. Speaking to that lunar eclipse happening early in the month, well, it is a very strong indication that it's a good time not to mix love and money. That is the least of how you should be engaging this energy. But for all that, this may also be a time when you are examining self-esteem and self-worth more deeply in the context of flirtation and romance, especially if it is that you are open to meeting someone new. It may be at this time that you are questioning where it is that your desires, your attractions have led you and what that may say about how you feel about you. Now that is a learning opportunity and it may very well be that right around that lunar eclipse there is a very powerful attraction, flirtation to somebody that helps you to become aware of this deeper learning. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that lunar eclipse also can lead you to that place of understanding yourself more deeply and where you are in terms of self-love in relation to this flirtation, this attraction, this possibility. But for all that, it is also the case that Venus is retrograde and you are reaching a deeper place of understanding of your own psyche where it comes to whom it is that you desire. Late in the month, once Venus goes direct, there's a deeper level of understanding that ultimately can give way to deeper intimacy. And for those of you in an established bond, it may very well be at that lunar eclipse that you are asked to be more generous in some way. And you may have some mixed feelings around that. But as I said earlier, the money you need is there. And that may be money as part of this bond that the two of you share. Now I'll also add that it is gonna be a Mercury retrograde month. Mercury does go retro just days before that solar eclipse later in the month. And as part of this larger Mercury retrograde season, Mercury will dance with Uranus in your opposite sign. And what that says is that you and your partner may be dreaming big now, and your partner may be part of what is feeling as if your world is opening up. What I love about this month for you, well look, in addition to what I've already mentioned, as I have said, it's a huge astrological month. The last week of the month in particular, there's so much going on. Venus will go direct. Mars will move into a brand new part of the sky for you, a daily part of the sky. Now this is where eventually Mars will enter shadow and move retrograde. Normally Mars spends about seven weeks in a sign every two years. This time we get seven months in the same sign. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but this is that much more a powerful transition considering how defining it will be. And then the month ends with a meeting of Pluto and Jupiter in a understanding mind level communication part of the sky for you. This is the second of three meetings these planets are going to have in this communication part of the sky. And it tells me that conversations are powerful now. Your words are powerful now and deeply influential. Where it is that you can tap into this power? Well, it may very well be the case that as you navigate this month and all of its meaningful energies, you can transform things for the better and for your empowerment simply by speaking it so. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.